What's up everyone? So welcome back to Baseball Bento. So today we're going to be comparing uh, Topps Chrome 2023 versus Topps Chrome Platinum. I know it's not the, like an apples to apples comparison, but I think for like, for like all of us, we're all working under a budget. You know, we, we all wish we could buy as many uh, boxes, hobby, blaster, just packs as we want. Um, but really, we're all under a budget. So for me, just getting started in the hobby, these two products, um, they're very close in price range. Um, $35, I was able to find this retail $35 versus $30. So it is like when you're talking about budget, it's just so close in price that um, at least for me, I really just wanted to see which, which product was better for somebody that's under a budget or just brand new to the hobby looking to have some fun. Um, I have uh, ripped open a box of Topps 2023 and that's in another video. In that, in that rip, I really didn't get much, I would say, so I'm hoping for more today. I was only able to pull um, a Ronald Acuna, so it's just a base, but they do have uh, the Topps 2023 they do have a buy MVP buyback program, so hopefully Acuna does win MVP, so that uh, this card could be used for buyback. And then this Future Stars, Adley Rutschman, which pretty cool, but and not not the best. I'm hoping for some, at least some color numbered cards, um, uh, maybe even an autograph. Uh, I've heard good things about both, and I've checked out a lot of other uh, YouTube videos. So I'm very excited to see what's in Topps Chrome Platinum. I haven't given up on the Topps Chrome either, as I've seen a lot of people rip some good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I think today we're gonna go with Topps Chrome Platinum first, and we'll go, we'll uh, we'll switch off. So we'll go Topps Chrome Platinum, then Topps Chrome. Going with Topps Chrome Platinum first because it's a product I haven't ripped before yet. Um, so for those of you who don't know about this product, it is based off the 1953 Topps design. All the cards are in portrait orientation, so there's no action shots. Um, it's almost like an artistic styling of the port of the player too. So some look like hyper realistic, some look n maybe like a like a painting, but it is based off the 1953 Topps design, which at first I didn't really like it. Um, but it, it really grew on me after seeing other people rip this product, how much they enjoyed it, and then just the history behind the design. Um, some cards I'm hoping to get out of it. So this is 2022. Of course, Topps Chrome is 2023. So the, the players you're ripping for is completely different. In 2022, really, it's going to be Julio Rodriguez for rookie card, Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Strider, those three. Um, Wander Franco is in this product too, but because of the recent news, see what happens with Wander there. So those are the the three rookies I'm hoping to get. The checklist is huge though, so it's not really a product for rookie cards if that's what you're going for. Um, what is cool about Top Scrum Platinum though is it does uh, contain past stars. So like players from my childhood, like Derek Jeter, um, Alex Rodriguez is in this product. Also, uh, players before that and even in the past. So a lot of players I won't even know. Um, so some of those players I'm hoping to get. My favorite player would be Derek Jeter. Hopefully I can pull one of his. Ichiro, uh, Ken Griffey, Mariano Rivera, or even Kirby Puckett. Um, even though I never saw him play. So... Those would be what I'm hoping for. I have seen some pretty good pulls out of retail. So let's see what we can get. Haven't been getting the best of luck. So hopefully we catch some better luck on the first pull. This must come with three exclusive prison refactor cards per box. Where it? Apex. Let's get started. First one. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to mention, <clears throat> there are also variations. So there's 25 different players with variation, so short print variation of their card. But to find out if a card is short print, there's actually uh, numbers that you can reference on the back. Um, I don't know if you can see it, the camera will focus. But anyways, if we run into one of the short print variations, then I'll call it out. All right. I do see a prism. Chris Bryant, Nathaniel Lowe. Oh, it's a numbered on the first. It is a numbered on the first pack. Wow, to 75. Ted Simmons to 75. Look at that. Let me just leave this up real quick. Now, I don't know who Ted Simmons is, but it's cool to rip um, a numbered card so early on. Ted Simmons, Zach Greinke, Jock Peterson Prism. You know, I can already see why people like this product so much. Quality is there. The design is really cool. I mean, look at this. Look at this to, to uh, 75. It is actually my first numbered card. Look at that. All right, next pack. Edward Cabrera rookie card. Pretty nice. I mean, one of the... I actually don't know how he's performing this year. But one of the better rookie cards I would assume you could get considering how big the checklist is. George Foster. Will Smith. Oh, this must be the blue prism. Mike Zunino. And Adam Rain Wainwright. So this is the retail exclusive blue prism. I don't know why the camera is not focusing as well. Looks pretty good. Yeah, at first I thought the portrait uh, pictures were kind of boring and I was looking for those action shots. But having these cards in person, I, I see why people like it so much. Miguel Cabrera. Oh, rookie. Refractor. Let's see who it is. Jansen Junk. Is that really a name? Jansen Junk. Rookie Refractor. Don Drysdale. Drysdale. Sorry. And Hideki Matsui. The Godzilla. Ooh, Felix. I mean, this is a base, but I'm, I live in Seattle now. And I remember growing up seeing and watching him pitch. So I'll add that to the good pile. And look at that, a Babe Ruth. This is not the... So Babe Ruth does have a short print variation. This is not one of them. For the, the variation, they're usually looking off to the right or the left. And um, the base, they're usually looking straight into the camera. Rookie card, Mackenzie Gore, and Dave Stewart. I do see another prism. Yadi and Marlena, Joe Ryan rookie. Big Poppy. I see scratches a little. Yeah, some scratches on this card. Haven't seen scratches yet, though. That's the first one with scratches. Hans Kraus. Rookie card. And JD Martinez Prizzo.
Another blue, the blue prism retail. Eric Davis, Robbie Grossman, Greg Diekman, rookie. And rookie card, Riley Adams. Oh, you know what? I think this one is different. I'll have to... What I will do is, because I don't know the names of all these cards... Is this numbered? Oh, it is numbered. Wow, two numbered. Yeah, I was just about to say, because I don't know the checklist that well, I will add in what this card is called in the, um, in the subtitles. So, so far out of this blaster, we have two numbered cards, two color number cards. So, I gotta say, the, the retail is looking good so far. All right. Ooh, look at that, Manny. So, I got Manny and Big Poppy so far. In this, uh, in this blaster. Jack Flaherty, is this a refractor? Not sure. Chris Bassett? I wonder if this... No, I don't think so. This Walker Bueller. So, two... If you could see the numbers. I was just checking if it's a short print. I don't think... Pretty sure Walker Bueller is not one of the variations. I just want to double check. Um, so if you can see the number, the the base variation ends in two one eight, and then the 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 short print variation is two five one. And one thing I forgot to mention is that on the back of the refractors. Let's see if I have any refractors. I don't yet. But on the back of the refractors, the cards actually do... It actually does state on the back of the card that it's a refractor. And last pack of this blaster. Let's see if we can get another numbered. Alright. Wander. There's one... I mean, usually this would have been a good, nice rookie to, to get, especially the checklist, so... We'll see what happens, but the news so far is not looking good for Wander. Jacob Robson, rookie. These cards really do look nice. Colton Wong and Jose Barrios. Pretty impressed so far. I think out of all the, the packs I ripped... I mean, which is not as many as most, like a lot of people. But I've ripped a few, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with what I was able to pull out of this blaster. So just to review, we had we got a Wander Franco rookie, Ted Simmons, numbered to seventy-five, Riley Adams rookie card, numbered to one hundred. Adam Wainwright, retail exclusive, um, blue, let me get the, let's see if I can get the name, blue prism, Jock Peterson prism, and a JD Martinez prism as well. So pretty good blaster. All right, next up, we got the Topps Chrome. So Topps Chrome is 2023 uh, versus 2022. This does have a much smaller checklist. Um, so there's a good chance of pulling some pretty good rookie cards out of this. Uh, some of them, I mean, like everybody else who's ripping this box is hoping to pull is Adley Rutschman, cover, cover guy of the box. Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson. I'm also hoping for Jordan Walker. Um, Non-rookie cards would be Shoei for sure because of the buyback program again. Um, Acuna, buyback, and then, because again, I'm from Seattle, so hopefully I can, I can, uh, pull a Julio out of this. Let's see if I have more luck this time around, because the last time it was pretty much, I would say it was more of a dud box.
It's kind of funny too because I didn't know, I did not know that in the Chrome format, a lot of the cards are curved. So I thought like something was wrong with my cards. Now, I will say that for some, maybe it's just because of the, I like pulling rookie cards more, but before opening the Topps Chrome Platinum, I was leaning more towards Topps Chrome, at least like the one I would like to buy more or would hope to find. Oh, and there is the pink parallel. But yeah, we'll see after the after this comparison. Josh Smith, rookie. <clears throat> That's the first pink parallel. That's, there's two guaranteed in this box. Joey Votto and Evan Longoria. Rookie, Cannon Smith. That's pretty cool. Rookie card, pink parallel. Um, I think the, the other pink parallels that I pulled from the previous blaster, it was, yeah, it wasn't a rookie. It wasn't anything special. So at least this one is a rookie card. Um, to pack two, Clayton Kershaw, Vlad Guerrero, I think that is of a refractor maybe, Mark Vientos, rookie. Here's that curve I was talking about. Pink parallel, I think I saw. All right. James Altman. Joey Manessis. Manny Machado. And the second pink parallel is a Trevor Story. This deck does feel a little thicker, so we'll see. Bo Naylor, rookie. Robbie Ray. Rookie. Parallel, I see. Robbie Ray. Tim Anderson. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, here's the Sepia. So you get two Sepias per pack. Michael Stefanik, rookie card. Tim Anderson and Alec Thomas Prism. Oh, you see that damage though? A little bit of a bummer there's a scratch on it. Three more. Say a Suzuki. Tech Wheeler. Ken Smith Perky. And JT Rilamuto. Two more. So again, it's not I'm not pulling too much so far. There's two more packs though. Tristan Cassis rookie, that is not bad. Shay Langeliers. Adley Rutschman rookie, that's pretty nice. One of the nicer base I think you could get. Let me sleeve that up. So as you can see, when you compare it, 
you can just see the difference in the number of rookie cards that you do get. Oh, another Adley back to back. I mean, you don't really have to sleeve this, but I'm going to. And then the last Sepia, Jose Ramirez. Not too bad of Sepia. Okay, so just to review what we got from this, what we got from the Tops Crew. <sighs> this is what we got. Tristan Cassis rookie, Adley Rutschman Titans, Adley Rutschman base rookie, um, an Alex Thomas prison, Trevor Story pink parallel, and then Cannon Smith a pink rookie parallel. There are some other rookies too. I think those were the highlights. Um, so far, it is looking like Tops Chrome Platinum is winning, but we got two more boxes. And again, all the, I mean, all the boxes are different. So maybe I just have really bad luck with the Tops Chrome product. Um, but so far I have ripped open two blaster boxes of the Tops Chrome. And I haven't really gotten that much, I would say. And if I'm missing something, feel free to leave a comment because I am very new to this hobby. All right, going back to the top of Chrome Platinum. Oh, you know what? There's one, how funny of me. There's one more Topps Chrome. I wonder. Will we get some last pack luck? How did I miss that? I don't know. Ooh, Gunnar Henderson rookie. First Gunnar Henderson of my collection. And those are the two rookie cards you would be trying to go for. Gunnar Henderson and um, Adley Rutschman. Two of the top ones you'd be going for. DJ LeMahieu, Garrett Cole, and a Pete Alonzo. Looks like a Pete Al Alonzo refractor. Looks pretty good. All right, now moving back to Topps Chrome Platinum. And look at that. Shohei right on top. It's too bad Topps Chrome Platinum isn't doing a buyback. But that is also not... So Shohei does have a image variation this one is the base card Gio Urshela Frank Thomas oh I see a prism I think behind David Cohn and Jim Buning prism Just move these here Let's see, is there anything? Oh, there's our blue prism, Jared Kalnick. It's bummer he got injured. Byron Buxton, Dennis Eckersley, rookie card of Jake Berger. And the blue prism of Stuart Fairchild, rookie prism. Big Jose Canseco. I do see a rookie right behind him. Hopefully it's a nice rookie. Julio? Julio maybe. Jackson Kohar. Eddie Murray. 
think that is an Eddie Murray refractor. Yep, and here's the example. So on the back of the card, if it is a refractor, then it'll say that it's a refractor. And that way, I mean, for me, like I'm new to this, so it does help, which is nice. So that's a very nice Eddie Murphy refractor. Eddie Murray, Eddie Murphy. And then another rookie, at AJ Alexi. Look at that, Tory Hunter. I didn't mention him at the beginning, but I grew up in Minnesota, so Tory Hunter was one of my favorite players growing up. Tory Hunter, Bernie Williams. David Peralta and Trey Turner. Feels thicker. Oh, a gold wave, I think. I'll have to look up the name again, but that is for sure a numbered card. So we'll save, we'll save the numbered for last. Also see a prism, Kevin Gossman, Frank Thomas prism. Very nice. Ozzy Albies, and then it's a catcher. Thurman Munson, to what is it? To 250, very nice color. So new to this, I didn't even realize my camera stopped recording. So we didn't get the end of the Topps Chrome Platinum Pack. Um, and we did not get any of me open, opening the Topps Chrome, which is pretty unfortunate because of how good the, the blaster box was. Um, so let me just, let me see if I can give you an overview of what I pulled. So from the Topps Chrome Platinum, the second box, this is what I got. Spencer Torkelson, rookie card, Randy Johnson, refractor, Frank Thomas, prism, Thurman Munson, uh, gold wave. Again, I'll look up the names to 250, number to 250. Eddie Murray, refractor, Jim Buning, prism, Stuart Fairchild, blue rookie, and Shohei Otani. But check this out. And it's too bad it wasn't captured on camera. Um, again, I thought it was, I thought I was recording for some reason, but I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. This is what I got so far, and there's one pack left. So we got Mark Vientos, uh, Sepia, Parallel, Adley Rutschman, Rookie Card, Just Base, Byron Buxton, Technicolor, Lennon Sosa, Purple Refractor to 275. Sean Murphy, Sepia, Anthony Rendon, Pink Refractor, Julio Rodriguez, just because I like him, Adley Rutschman, Titans. Here are the two best ones so far, and it's really a bummer that it wasn't recorded. Um, but I can at least show you guys. Cody Thomas, Rookie, Autograph, 299, and then Shohei Otani, uh, Pink refractor so again the pink refractor what's nice about the the tops chrome is that they're doing this mvp buyback so refractor of otani because otani is looking like a lock for al mvp this will be a 40 dollars buyback which makes up for the cost of the uh the box so it's it's very nice so so far on um blaster box number two for the tops chrome much better pulls than the first the first one that was on camera um and here is the last pack <clears throat> let's see max meyer rookie alex call garrett cole and jose ramirez 
Okay, so for the final comparison, I thought it was pretty clear after opening the packs up, but I did just go through and comp both the 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 hits from both of the packs just to see um, if I had missed anything. And it did look like I missed a little bit, so let me just give you a, um, my closing thoughts, if you want to call that. Um, so I do think here's the the hit pile from the Topps Chrome Platinum. Um, Here's all the cards that I thought were pretty good. Randy Johnson, Refractor, Spencer Torkelson, Rookie, Shoy Otani, Wander Franco, Rookie, Ted Simmons to 75. Um, it is Rose Gold Toil. I believe that's what it's called. Rose, Rose Gold Toil uh, Refractor to 75. Riley Adams. And then Thurman, oh, Frank Thomas Prism. Thurman Munson uh, to 250 yellow wave refractor um out of all of the out of the two blasters the best card at, at least value wise and i didn't know this so it is one of the important things about the tops chrome platinum i didn't know this but the ted simmons ted simmons was it is a hall of famer so this card is much more valuable than i had originally thought because i don't know i don't know ted simmons so comped out this uh, rose gold uh, red toil refractor, and I might be butchering the name again, but this one's comped. The last sale was around twenty dollars, which isn't crazy, but it's not bad considering one blaster box is thirty. Um, and the second, surprisingly, even though we had numbered cards for both Riley Adams and Thurman Munson, comped out. Uh, the next v most valuable would be Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas Prism unnumbered last sale was eight dollars. So in total, uh, from the Tops Chrome Platinum, the it the value came out to be just less than what I had paid for two blaster boxes. Um, what I would say for Tops Chrome Platinum, what is cool and what is something you have to pay attention to at the same time is that because there are these um, uh, past players such as Frank Thomas in at least my generation I know Frank Thomas at least I've heard of Thurman Munson but for example I didn't know Ted Simmons so what's cool and what I've noticed going through the eBay sales the certain type of collector looking for uh, certain type of players that are in the that played previously so one thing I noticed is that with the tops chrome platinum what's nice is that you could for example have a prism Frank Thomas now when it comes to rarity prism is not going to be as rare as Thurman Munson but because there might be uh, certain collectors looking or uh, looking for Frank Thomas cards or just because they enjoyed watching Frank Thomas play in the past um, that might drive the value up so I could just imagine um, for example if I were able to hit one of my favorite players Derek Jeter or even Ken Griffey Jr. I'm guessing because the checklist is so big for the Topps Chrome Platinum that those more popular players from the past are going to be more valuable even if the card isn't as rare if you know what I mean and at least for the tops chrome what I noticed is that even though it didn't seem like you hit as many and here are my top pulls I would say um, two Adley Rutschman rookie cards Gunnar Henderson rookie the Shohei Otani a pink refractor Cody Thomas on card autograph to 99 and then Lennon Sosa, rookie card, um, Purple Wave Refractor. I think that's the name. Numbered to 275. Even though the hits, it didn't seem like um, it came as often. It does seem like for the Topps Chrome, when you do hit, it's a bigger hit. As in, it's more valuable. Um, also, the quality of the rookie cards in the top in the tops chrome is much better than the tops chrome platinum 
just because the Topps Chrome Platinum checklist is so big. And in the Topps Chrome Platinum, you're really only looking for um, a few rookies. I mean, it's, a, it's the same with Topps Chrome, but the checklist is much smaller. So it's easier, I mean, easier, yeah, I would say easier to pull the rookies that you're looking for. For example, just from two blasters, I was able to get two Adley Rutschman base rookies and a Gunnar Henderson. But in the Topps Chrome Platinum, I was only able to pull one Wander Franco, um, if we're just talking about rookies, one run Wander Franco, Franco um, one Spencer Torkelson, no Julio Rodriguez from um, the the two blasters. Um, so when it comes to rookie, hands down, Topps Chrome is the way to go. So if you're looking for a rookie card, or if you're looking for a specific rookie, um, and you want one of the rookies that's in the checklist of Topps Chrome, for example, Gunnar Henderson, Adley Rutschman, Corbin Carroll, Jordan Walker, then that would for sure be the pack to go with, even though it's more expensive. And you do have that buyback. So really when you're looking at the comped value, the only reason why I was gonna, I was able to make up the value of the two blasters was because of the Shohei. If it wasn't for the Shohei, this one, Lennon Sosa comped out at just a few dollars. Cody Thomas, I think it was maybe like $10. So it's like $15. And then the Adley Rutschman's a couple dollars, Gunnar Henderson a couple dollars. So if it wasn't for Shohei, um, the value really wasn't there out of the two blasters. But when the when you do hit something in the Topps Chrome, it does seem bigger. And I would say bigger just because the checklist is smaller. So you do have a better chance to hit a rare card of a more sought after player. <clears throat> and for example, this Riley Adams is a great example. So because the checklist is so big, I mean, I really like this card. Um, numbered to 100. I really like this card. Comped out, it's only a couple dollars. So the value isn't there. Um, same goes with a lot of the other um, color cards in the Topps Chrome Platinum. But in the Topps Chrome Platinum, it does seem just from two blasters. So it's hard to say because of course, all uh, all boxes will vary. But it does seem like the, the hits come more often with Topps Chrome Platinum. But um, the hits, because the checklist is so big, uh, the hits aren't as valuable, if you know what I mean. So in conclusion, I would say if you're looking for specific cards and want rookies from 2023 or rookies on that checklist, you really should be getting Topps Chrome for sure. If you're looking for the best, if you're looking for most fun um, or if you, if you like the fact that you'll get to see players that played in the, like your favorite players that played in the past, like Randy Johnson or a Frank Thomas, right? Like players from your childhood, then for sure, like Topps Chrome Platinum is a great choice to go with too. You can't lose either way. Um, but I hope that gives you a good idea of what to expect from the two packs. Anyways, I hope you liked this comparison video. Um, look for more videos to come. Thanks for following along. Uh, leave a comment of what you'd like to see and uh, hit that subscribe button too. Thank you.